what is on the minds of young people today. Uh, like I was saying, uh, I will try my best because you know it's only my perspective uh, of this of this question uh, and what I've seen, which is also limited. But I think one one thing that is on the minds of young people is uh, a desire to change the world, to change themselves. But then, often, quite often, there's an there's not enough awareness of how to go about that desire, you know, because there, there's a lot of energy. You know, young people have a lot of energy, a lot of uh, a lot of of dreams, a lot of hope, generally speaking, and but then what do I do with it? You know, if there's no sense of purpose, then, then how can I, well, how do I use all of this energy? What do I, you know, what am I gonna do with, with all of this that I have? You know, I, I'm being told that I'm the future, but then how do I go about being the future? How do I really make sure that I become that future that I'm told I am, right? So I think a lot of confusion is one, one thing that might come to mind then. You know, there's, we have all of these capacities but then also, how do I use these capacities, right? And then, so there's a lot of, what do I do? Where do I go? How, who do I trust? You know, like, uh, who, who is right? So there's a lot of questioning, for sure. I think a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of questioning. And, you know, through that questioning, there's a, a desire to find truth. I think, you know, like it's, the desire to find truth is intrinsic to every human being, you know, whether you're old or young. It, it's, it's an innate desire, but it's most pronounced when, when we are young. So, yeah, you know, like that energy and that desire combined with all of these different options, then it's gonna create like a whoa, what do I, where do I go? Yeah, that's, that's one thing that I've seen asking a lot of these questions of, you know, like, you know, why, why am I here? You know, like, it's, it's, a, it's a very important question to, to know, uh, to, have, to know why, you know, why we're alive. What's the a reason to be? How do I become the better version of myself? You know, and, and yeah, and in my experience, that's, that's what I see the people that I interact with asking. The teachings of the Baha'i Faith are able to channel all of those capacities, all of, all of that energy, all of that impetus that young people have towards a higher purpose. You know, all of the principles of the Baha'i Faith. Uh, you know, Baha'u'llah said that men and women are equal, for example, but we, we know that that's, that is not something that is present today in society, nowhere in the world, really. Uh, it's, it's present, you know, in a way that we can say, yes, this is done, this is, we have achieved full equality, right? So, so, so you know, like, so those principles offer the, the framework for young people to, to say, okay, this is what we need to achieve, this is who we are, and we have all of this energy, all of these capacities that we are developing, that we're growing. And so then it gives them a, a direction of where to go. Instead of just going anywhere, then it, it focuses the efforts of young people. I think also it it provides with the with with the ideal uh, environment where young people can can learn more about themselves, can learn more about how to again how to contribute to growth of of themselves as individuals, but then also collectively.